Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about miniature painting. Painting miniatures. Yes. And this is part 55. We're at part 55. Blue gems. Like green or red gems, but blue. So I'll be going over color scheme and how to paint blue gems, in case you want to watch specifically blue gems. And we're painting it on this Dark Reaper model with tons of gems. So first of all, I'm going to start off by saying you don't actually have to paint all the gems. Choose whichever ones you want and paint those accordingly. Today we'll be using five colors in this painting gem process. It will be Abaddon Black as the base color, followed by Kalidor Sky, Teclas Blue, Lothurn Blue, and finally White Scar for the little dots that bring these gems to life. So we'll start off by painting Abaddon Blacks. So we'll take our Abaddon Black, add it to our palette, because of course it's always great to use a palette when using these processes. And we want nice and thin paints for a great blend of colors. So we're going to add a little bit of thinner just to thin it down slightly. And of course, mix it so it's nice and consistent. And just bring the consistency down a little bit exactly so that we can get a nice blend of colors. And this will provide the nice foundation of colors on the gemstones. So now it's time to choose whichever gemstones you want to paint. And paint them with Happen on Black. And as I mentioned before, you don't actually have to paint all the gemstones on these models. Uh, most Eldar models are just filled with gemstones, so you can paint some of them in correlation with their their color of, like, for example, if you didn't want to paint the gemstones on the guns, you can just paint them the same color as the gun, or you can paint them as gemstones, and you can alternate whatever colors you want, but uh, just basically choose whatever ones. I'm going to use a lot of gemstones in this particular tutorial, because a lot of repetition just shows the different angles, and just reiterates what I'm trying to, uh, to show for painting gemstones. So as you can see here, I'm just going to go over all the gemstones and paint them nice. And as you can see, I'm using a very, very detailed brush. This is a double zero brush because these gemstones are very tiny in real, in, in real life. So they're pretty small. And so you don't have to be as perfect with your, with your painting, but try to be as close to as possible. The eyes will, uh, it'll be, you know, the eyes will just see the nice blend anyway. They're not going to be as, as picky as this camera is because this camera is zoomed in many times in. But as I said, so start by base coating all these gemstones black. And of course let it dry entirely before proceeding to the next step. So now we're going to take our blues, starting out with Kalidor Sky, which is a beautiful blue. It's actually my favorite color from the GW range of the Citadel range. And now it's time to choose where the light source is hitting. So we're going to choose from above for the model and we're going to go at a slight angle on the gun. And that is ultimately going to determine where you paint Kalidor Sky on these gemstones. So as I said, we're going from above on the model, from an angle on the gun. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave little ovals dictating where the light source is hitting these gemstones. So if the light source is hitting the gemstone from above, you want the little oval to be the very top part of the gemstone. But if the light source is hitting it from, let's say, the top right, we want the gemstone uh, oval of black to be in the top right corner. As you see here, I'm just painting accordingly and always trying to paint in a consistent direction so that all the gemstone things are facing the same way because the light source would be hitting all these gemstones from the same part, from the same direction. So as you see, the ones from above, the little oval is the top part of the gemstone and the ones again will be in the top right hand. And once again, I did thin down my paint for this. I thinned down all my paints for these tutorials. Um, because you want to get a nice blend of colors and that, that's what produces the real livelihood of this gemstone. So you want to blend your colors very nicely and to do that you need thin coats. If you're unhappy with a single application, feel free to do a second one before proceeding to the next step. But just make sure the first one's completely dry. And now we're going to take our next color, Teclas Blue. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start at the bottom of the gemstone and work our way towards the black areas. But of course we're going to leave a section of area that will be Calidor Sky. And we're going to produce a very nice gradient at the bottom the, the lightest and at the top the darkest black. So as you see here I'm just going to start on the gemstones and work my way towards the black but not go as far as I did the previous step. And this step to, you can actually do pretty quickly just make sure to take your time and, uh, and have a nice steady stroke and steady hand with painting these gemstones. Uh, you see I didn't actually need to load my brush much at all. I can pretty much do almost the entire model in a single loading so you don't actually have to use that much paint. With each step you need less and less paint so feel free to put less and less paint in your palette and thin it down less and less. That way you save your paint for later 
And finally, we're gonna repeat this process with Lothar Blue, but just focusing at the bottom part of each gemstone. And also, as you notice for each pattern, I'm keeping the same pattern as I go, leaving that black oval and then painting that similar oval shape pattern with each color. That way it's a nice consistent pattern on each one. We're getting a nice blend of blues on these gemstones. And plus when it dries, it'll be a little bit darker and much more blended. And then finally we're going to take our white scar. And for this part, make sure to have a nice thin coat because you don't want to add too clunky of a color. And we're just going to add a little white dot in the same corner that where our light source is hitting it from. So it's going from above, we want it to be the center. If it's going from the top right, we want it to be in the top right corner of the black area of the gemstone. And these little tiny dots, and remember, take your time. I recommend propping up your arms, having a nice, just consistent dot pattern to your gemstones. Be very careful. And if you actually get too large of a dot, feel free to thin it down, thin down the dot a little bit with the black. Black will obviously clean it up pretty easily. But these little white dots are what bring the gemstones to life. This little detail is just really what hits the eye and really brings them to life. And it will make a, a decent miniature look amazing. So it's definitely worth your time to do these little tiny white dots. And that's it. So after repeating this process over and over, here's what the model looks like with all of his gemstones completely painted in blue. And in the end it looks really nice based on the amount of time we spent on them and it really brings the gemstones to life. It makes them have that nice shiny appearance which is what we're going for. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. And stay tuned for part 56 which is just around the corner next week as always. But if you don't want to wait for next week and you want to see it today, check out the warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel. Not only will you get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes, you'll get to see over 50 start-to-finish painting tutorials, battle reports, and just some awesome wargaming content like airbrush tutorials. So go ahead and check out the warp. I think you'll love it. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.